Okay. Uh, good morning to everybody. Happy Saturday or good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Uh, whichever one it is, man. Me personally, I'm just not waking up. But um, today is a good day. And the reason why today is a good day, because today is one of those days that I don't have to choose between watching boxing today or UFC. Because usually when UFC does a do their events, they always um, they always line it up with boxing events. And that's one thing I hate about UFC, man. I'm like, I wish I would pick a different day because I actually want to watch both of you guys. But if you're going to make me choose, I'm going to go with boxing every time. But I always peek back in on, um, you know, the UFC fights during watching boxing. But that's not really how I want to watch events and shit, man. I'd rather just stick to one channel and just watch it all the way through instead of just jumping back and forth and stuff like that. Because you miss shit, you miss knockouts and stuff like that. And that's why I don't like it. But today, it's no boxing matches. None. So it's all UFC tonight. And um, I'm only focused on the two... On the main event and the co-main event, all that, all them undercards and stuff like that, man, I don't get into that. That, that. That's for you real hardcore UFC fans or something like that. I'm just a fight fan, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know. But my feelings about, um, well, first, let me talk about John Jones and um, Augustuson. Um, my heart pick is Augustuson. And I know what y'all don't know what heart pick means. Heart pick is uh when I talk with my friends about fighting, we have who do we think now will win the fight that's based off of our ring IQ and intelligence and what we know about the fighter. And then we have our heart pick, which is based off our 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 heart's desire and who we want to see come out the victor. You know what I'm saying? So those are often two different things and you know, when uh, me and my crew, when we talk about fights, we make sure that we separate those because a lot of people use their heart picks and they use that as, OK, this is my logical sense and this is who I say when to fight. You have to understand that your heart pick is not necessarily is going to be the smartest pick. It's just who you desire to see be the champion or win. That's what a heart pick is. And then you have your regular old boxing IQ. UFC IQ, you know, fighter intelligence pick, you know, strategically who should come out on top. So those are two different picks. So I want people to start utilizing that now, too. You know what I'm saying? Start utilizing your heart picks because sometimes you use your heart picks as your common sense, uh, as your common six picks. And then you come out wrong when you should have just been real with yourself and say, look, man, I was picking from the heart more than my brain. You know, so my heart pick is uh, Augustus said I want him to win because honestly, I'm sick of the recycling of John's Bones Jones. John's Bones Jones make the entire sport look bad. You know, he make uh, 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 he make fighters look bad and just the constant drugging and drugging and all that other shit. And, and not only that, John Jones said something the other day that just really tipped me over the scale when it comes to John Jones. You know, I really don't care about John Jones being a prick being an asshole or being fake because I can I can clearly see John Jones is fake because the way he be talking in front of the press conferences and shit and all that man that dude fake as hell but he always break character for a few seconds he'll always show you his real nature by some of the comments that he says but he pretends that he's this nice well-spoken guy but that guy's really a fucking scumbag you know but like I said I don't get into all that but then I heard um John Jones say to Daniel Cormier and the crazy part is I actually couldn't stand Daniel Cormier and I liked the John Jones now I'm pro Cormier and I can't stand John Jones but he says to Cormier I'll slap your wife on the ass and you won't do shit and this is that and the third to me there's a limit to what you need to say and what has to be said if you want to attack a man attack a man do not bring his family in to say and when you have a comment like that that's a multi-layered disrespectful comment right there to say you're going to smack another man's wife on the ass. Just that alone is disrespectful. Then to say that I won't do shit. You're insulting my manhood. So not only are you insulting my manhood. You're insulting me as a father. 
you're you, uh, you're assaulting me as a fighter and you're assaulting me as a husband and you're insulting by my wife by insinuating you would slap her on her ass. Why are you even worried? Why is Daniel Cormier's wife's ass even coming out of your mouth? You know what I'm saying? It's a million things he could have said. But once you take it to the family point, that's just super. I don't like when people go at people's family. I don't like that at all. I don't think it's necessary. You could you could disrespect the person all you want without even touching their family. You know what I'm saying? That's a super, super disrespectful ass comment. And me personally, I will come see your ass outside the octagon for some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? For real. I will see your ass out the octagon. I'm going to tell you what kind of person I am. I will catch your ass after your UFC fight. After you get out the shower and beat the fuck out of you. Straight up. You ain't going to say nothing like that to me. But anyways, I'm getting off. Um, I'm going for Augustus and I want him to win. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, that's my heart pick. Okay? Now, as far as my logical and my common sense is John Jones, man. Is you know what I'm saying, it's John Jones? Him being a prick, being a dickhead, being a cokehead, being uh being a narcissist and acting like a four year old, that ain't got nothing to do with that boy's skill set. Because what I've what I slowly come come to learn is uh, anybody that you see with a great skill, like a great fighting skill like Bruce Lee or a great basketball player like Michael Jordan or something like that to be that good it comes with a mental defect I'm going to say that again when you're truly the master at something and you're truly the best in the world at it you know what I'm saying and you really wanted to 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 master your craft and you became the number one in it it comes with a mental defect just look at Floyd Mayweather one of the best fighters in the world he has a mental defect. John Jones, one of the best fighters in the world. He has a mental defect. Meaning, you have to be a narcissist to rise to the level that they have. You couldn't be Floyd Mayweather unless you was obsessed with yourself. Seriously. That's what it takes to get to the level that he is at. You have to have some level of obsession to do that. So I understand the correlation between raw talent and skill and the and the toll it takes on somebody mentally it leaves you with a character flaw and rightfully so you know and that's just the universal law that everything that you want is something that you have to give up so in order for john jones to be as good as he is he's going to have some mental defects period but I'm not, I'm not going to let that affect my decision about who I think will win the fight. I think strategically it's John Jones. My heart pick is Augustus. You know, I'm not going to get into the breakdown of the technical fight because, you know, I watch UFC, but I'm a boxing man, you know, and I can get down with that until they start getting on the ground and sprawling and using cranks and, rear naked chokes and all that shit i don't want to break that shit down because honestly when ufc fighters go into the when ufc fighters go to the floor that's equivalent to me watching boxing when somebody's hugging all the time i don't want to see nobody go to the floor and spend spend all the match on the ground i like stand up that's the only time i enjoy ufc is to stand up the second that shit go to the ground i go to a kitchen to get a, a bologna sandwich straight up talk shit with my friends come back they standing up yet okay i'm back that's how i look at ufc and i and i believe a lot of ufc fans is like that too for real but that's how i view you know what i'm saying um ufc I, I strictly like usc from a stand-up game point actually i think i i actually wish that um they would adapt a rule where it would just be stand-up fucking only you know what I'm saying? Straight up. When you get a man on the ground and he's in trouble, fine. But all that, spending all that time on the ground, laying between another man's legs and all that other shit, I'm just not with this shit. I'm not. But I'm going with Augustus. Now, Amanda Nunez and Chris Cyborg. I'm more interested in this fight than I am the Augustus fight. Way more interested. You know? And this is the thing. My logical pick and my heart pick actually goes with Amanda Nunes. I don't care what nobody say. Amanda Nunes can crack harder than Chris Cyborg. Amanda Nunes can win this fight 
if she just has confidence, period. That's what it's really going to boil down to. Does she really believe in herself? If she go in there, scary Mary, you know, she's going to get taken out. But if she go in there with confidence and stay composed and use her range and use her reach, you know, she beats Chris Cyborg. She does. You know, Amanda Nunes has all the potential in the world to beat Chris Cyborg. But if she go in there with that Chris Cyborg myth on her mind, you know what I'm saying? Basically, like Mike Tyson said, I defeated the guys before they already got into the ring. You know what I'm saying? My reputation, the reputation of me got to them before my physical body did. You know, so if she go in there with that mentality, she going to lose against Chris Cyborg. But if she go in there with confidence and stay composed and believe in herself and believe in her power, because Amanda Nunes got some striking power, then she's going to win the fight. But I'm way more interested in this fight than I am in Augusta Sitt and John Jones because I just don't want to support no druggy cheat like that. And I'm tired of dragging this guy. And I'm tired of them bringing this guy back, you know, just for the sake of the sport. And while I'm talking about it, that brings me to another thing. I believe is if Augustuson and um, John Jones, if it goes to the scorecards, Augustuson is definitely going to win because of the politics. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to depend on John Jones no more. They really don't. You know, and John Jones made him look like a dumbass, cost him six million and all that other shit. John Jones is not going to know how much he fucked up until this fight is over with. As soon as they get this card in the rear view, watch how they treat John Jones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they need him now. But do not think that Dana White and everybody is not pissed at John Jones. Believe me, they are. And if it goes to the scorecards, Augustuson is going to win. You know what I'm saying? And that's just from a political thing, straight up, you know? That's my opinions and that's my feelings on it. But um, let me know who you guys um, pick. And I don't mind if you guys talk to me about the uh, about the undercards and shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm interested in those two. I'm just not going to spend my time talking about them because, you know, undercard guys, I just really don't know like that. You know what I'm saying? It's always some new cats. On, on on the undercard. The only undercard guy I'm really familiar with is um Chad Mendez, you know what I'm saying? And um can somebody tell me why the fuck is BJ Penn still fighting? I mean, can somebody tell me that? Like, yeah, damn, man, these UFC fighters just don't fucking retire. The fuck is he fighting for? But anyways, let me know who your heart pick is and uh let me know who your common logical sense pick is you know and uh tell me why and uh let's talk about it all right i'll get back at y'all in a minute get up and get some breakfast bruce van i'm out